Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. In today's video we're gonna experience the Exaltation Overload event. We're gonna try different things and we're gonna see how we can most beneficially use the event. So what we're gonna try first is to see if there are any kind of um, benefits to be forging during the event. So. That is also what Zipsoft wants us to be making. They want us to be forging because of the event. They want to influence us to think that tears are great. So that is also what I'm going to be doing. I will be forging. I will be forging my soul shell from tier 2 to tier 3. And that is also what I think you guys should be doing. You should be making up your mind about tears. Is it worth it or is it not worth it during this event? So you should be trying different things to see how much you can benefit from either tearing your helmet, armor, legs or weapon. The first thing, or rather the second thing, the first thing I did was the forge. The second thing I decided to make during this event was the drone. I thought it could be a good benefit to be making some extra levels with the tiers on our equipment. Another thing I notice is if you check your skills, you can see that you have Onslaught, Ruse, Momentum and Transcendence activated without having any equipment on. So I saw the um, Momentum popping without me having any helmet on. But you need to be in battle for the momentum to be popping. So no items are actually required for um, using this event. But you can also be checking how much in total you have by, equip by equipping your equipment to see your stats with the tiers in total. And one Primarily thing we need to remember about this event in my opinion is that this is the very first event we actually have a bonus against bosses. Our weapon is stronger, our defense is stronger and we will also be having more critical damage by having our tiered legs on. And with that said, making bosses during this event will be the, the very best opportunity you had have so far to be making bosses. Now, if you like or do not like making bosses, <laughs> that is very different from person to person. I saw it as an opportunity to be making Maseron, just to be trying it since they released the new experience from the boss. Second opportunity we have with bosses is to be making the Bane category bosses during this event. With the Fatal on our crossbow, which I never had before, we had a little bit more damage and we can make our lap a little bit quicker than I am used to, which could be a nice opportunity to be farming during this event. And when it comes to hunting, do not really get too stuck on your um, hunt analyzer because you won't be new noticing a such a huge difference when it comes to adding the new tiers to your equipment because it isn't that huge of a difference. What I think you should be focusing on is how does it feel when you hunt? Does it feel easier? Does it feel smoother? And I also think you should be noticing how much you are potting yourself. Because I noticed that instead of using ultimate spirit potions, I was using more great spirit potions instead. I felt the hunt became much easier with the higher amount of damage I had from my fatal. I also felt that I took much less damage when it came to the armor. It was a huge upgrade to be making one upgrade from the forge, which I made myself. And then adding the um, protection from the event, I felt much safer and having much greater experience with these spawns from the tears. 
But in the end, I didn't think it changed my hunt analyzer way too much, actually. And as a paladin, I thought that it was hard to utilize the helmet. The legs were great, armor were great, and the bow was great to be having tears on. But I think you should, as I started the video, the opportunity you have with this event is to evaluate if you think tears is good opportunity for you or not. Is this the right way to go or is it not? Now we have a weekend to be trying it out and that is also what I believe Zipsoft wants you to be making. To be making up your mind if you're going to be tearing in the future or not. So make the best of it and I will be thanking you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video today and that you make up the mind what you will be making during this event. For myself, I think I will be making some Bane category monster and I will be hunting here in the Faroe Road. Thanks for watching.